Grouper fish is one of the most in-demand fish in Asia and North America. Live grouper fish are in high demand year-round, particularly in Southeast Asia, due to their higher market price compared to other fish. Welcome to the world of grouper fishing in Palawan. This tropical paradise in the Philippines offers more than just breathtaking landscapes. Here, the azure waters are teeming with a variety of groupers. Each one, from the golden striped grouper to the elusive giant grouper, holds its own unique value. The thrill and challenge of catching these majestic creatures is a dance between man and nature, where every catch is a testament to skill, patience, and a little bit of luck. Local fishermen employ unique methods, using hook and line with live bait and even bamboo traps in their pursuit of these underwater treasures. The goal? To keep these groupers alive until they reach the market, where they fetch a high price. So buckle up and prepare for a thrilling journey beneath the waves. Now, let's delve into the deep-sea dance of catching groupers. It's not just about the hook and the line, but also the live bait. The grouper, a prized catch in the waters of Palawan, Philippines, is a tough fish to hook. This is a game of strategy, a dance with the unpredictable ocean, and the ultimate test of patience. The first key to success lies in the choice of bait. Groupers are predatory fish drawn to the scent and movement of live bait. Local fishermen prefer to use smaller fishes like sardines or mackerel. Their struggles in the water mimic the movements of a wounded prey, irresistible to a hungry grouper. The art of casting the line is just as crucial. The aim is to send the bait as deep as possible, where the larger groupers lurk. This requires a precise balance between the weight of the bait and the strength of the line. Too light, and the bait won't reach the desired depths. Too heavy, and the line might snap under the pressure. Once the bait is cast, comes the most exciting and nerve-wracking part of the process, the weight. Groupers are cautious fish, often taking their time to investigate before striking. This is when the fisherman's patience is truly tested. But when the line finally tugs, it's a rush of adrenaline like no other. Reeling in a grouper is a battle of wills. These are strong fish that won't give up easily. The fisherman must match the fish's strength, carefully managing the tension in the line to avoid it snapping. It's a delicate dance, a test of endurance, and a thrilling chase all rolled into one. Remember, it's not just about catching the fish, but doing so in a way that ensures the grouper remains alive and healthy. This is crucial for fetching the best prices at the market, where live groupers are considered a premium catch. With patience and the right techniques, you too can master the art of catching groupers with hook and line. From modern techniques to traditional methods, let's explore how bamboo traps have been used for centuries to capture groupers. This technique, steeped in history, is both environmentally friendly and effective. The traps are constructed from bamboo, a renewable and readily available resource. They're designed in a way that lures the grouper into the trap without causing any harm. But it's not just about putting together a few pieces of bamboo. The real art is in the placement of these traps. Fishermen need an intimate knowledge of the seabed, the currents, and the behavior of the grouper. They must know where the groupers like to hide, where they feed, and the paths they take. It's a dance between fish and fishermen, a delicate balance of nature and skill. Bamboo traps, a testament to the ingenuity of fishermen, continue to be an effective method of catching groupers. This traditional technique is a powerful reminder of how man and nature can work together for a sustainable future. Once the grouper is caught, the adventure isn't over. The journey from sea to market is a race against time to keep the grouper alive. As fishermen employ deft techniques to maintain the fish's vitality, they use live wells, a special compartment with flowing seawater, to mimic the grouper's natural habitat. This tenacity helps to preserve the fish's freshness and, consequently, their high market value. The journey of a live grouper from sea to market is a fascinating process that reflects the dedication and hard work of Palawan's fishermen. Grouper fishing in Palawan is more than just a livelihood. It's a tradition, a skill, and a testament to the harmony between man and sea. This artisanal craft of catching groupers using hook and line or bamboo traps has been passed down through generations. The journey of live groupers from the depths of the sea to the bustling markets is a dance of precision and patience. The result? Premium, live groupers that fetch a high price, reflecting the value of this intricate process. Thank you for joining us on this deep sea adventure. If you enjoyed our journey into the world of grouper fishing in Palawan, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content.